And action! So, when did you die? On October 20th. Huh, Scorpio, like me. I still don't get what we're doing here. Please, be more respectful, kid. We are at a burial. Besides, this is as good a hunting ground as any. Go, she's ripe and ready. What, now? Don't be insensitive, Dunk. Me? <laughs> Just watch. You must have inherited millions. That's not the point. We don't live off of women. We make them live. You knew him? Briefly, but seeing you, I envy him post-mortem. Your husband hired me as a counselor before he died. <sighs> Unfortunately, we never had a chance to start our work. What kind of counselor? Post-tantric sex. He told me he wanted to add zing to his marriage. Now I see why. Well, I might need someone like you in the future. Name, Astrid. Type, MILF. Difficulty, 6.2. Whoa, 6.2? Thought we'd gone past that level of difficulty. That is only part of the equation. Achieved. The socialist utopia of the couple, the ultimate sexual unity, the menage a trois. But there's only me and the widow. Doesn't it take three to be a threesome? The game. Virginia, typology, goody goody, idealistic, loves animals, practices yoga every day, and the most important thing for her is to get married. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Uh, just one question what difficulty level are we dealing with here? Ten. You're killing me. There, where Alexander the Great failed, 
were the Marquis de Sard faced doom. There were. In short, dear Axel, welcome to the ultimate challenge. Come join us. The poor whales need your help. Oh my god, what? Whales stuck on shore. I haven't slept for days. I must go back to the beach. Okay, I'm in. Uh, what, what, uh, where, where did everybody go? They abandoned the poor whale! I guess it's up to you and me. Oh no, a whaling ship! Motherfuck. Mayday. Come in, Doctor. Mayday. Mayday. Repeat, Mayday. Abort mission. So what now? Are you bored, darling? Astrid, all this time I've spent counseling you has just been incredible. But I think I'd like to try something, and I really don't know if you, um, if, if you... Mm, Mr. Mysterious. I, I don't know how to put it. I was, um, I was thinking if you would like to do a, 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 a three, um... A three-way light bulb? Would you like me to turn it on? No, 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 no. A, 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 a three-way three call? Who would you like me to include in the conversation? <laughs> No, uh, what, what I, what I wanted to, to know is if you, uh, wanted... Well, do you want to know what I'd like to try? Look, what a beautiful place. I always imagined myself living surrounded by nature, just like a little house on the prairie. Yes, uh, very beautiful, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I love kids. I want to have at least four or five and many, many animals. Mmm. A little dog and blah, 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 blah. So, what did you want to ask me? Uh, have you, um, uh, ever... Did you ever try a, a trio? If, well, a, like a three-person, uh... Hmm? Oh, yeah. When I was a schoolgirl, we tried all sorts of things. It was me, my best friend, and a boy from fifth grade. Start polishing the gold. I am going to be president of the lodge. Slow down, kid. Not everything is as easy as it seems. Come on, Doc. Don't be a wet blanket. See ya, Dr. Downer. The Supreme Challenge is on. Looks like the third member of our little menage a trois has arrived. going to be in another trio again. <laughs> you must be the third Axel spoke so much about. <laughs> what instrument do you play? I play the clarinet. <gasps> what the? Oh my god. You didn't think that I would ever... Uh, yeah, I, I thought <laughs> that, that you... <laughs> Please, allow me. Come. Time for a little girl talk. Slow down, kid. Not everything is as easy as it seems. 
Virginia, I just want to say I'm sorry. You know, I want to apologize to both of you. I was selfish, and I didn't realize I could hurt you. Oh, honey, will you keep on babbling, or will you just come over? Come on, you fool. Why didn't you explain it to me before? What did you say to convince her? I told her this would be her wedding gift to you because you were going to marry her. No! And if anyone knows of a reason why this man and this woman should not be married, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. <laughs> Anything. Doc, I thought you had abandoned me. Hurry. These ceremonies give me the creeps. Oh, Doc, that was too close for comfort. As William Blake said, you never know what is enough, unless you know what is more than enough. I don't know. Virginia loved me and I dumped her. Relax. She did not want you. She wanted to get married. Ooh! <laughs>